917, everybody, welcome back. Yeah, I know you're feeling the music, right? <laughs> I can't 2024, help it. 2025 Milken Awards were presented to 45 educators from coast to coast. The award's been called the Oscar of Teaching. And among this year's recipients is John Melandro from Tangier Smith Elementary School in Mastic Beach. And he's joining us this morning. So welcome and congratulations to you. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. So first, let's tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you actually been teaching? So I've been a teacher for the past seven years. I've been at Tangier Smith Elementary School, which is in the William Floyd School District, as a fifth grade teacher for the past six of those seven years. And already getting an award. Uh, and this is, a, I mean, the Oscar of Teaching Awards, right? And it came wow. as a surprise to you at a school assembly. So tell us about the moment you kind of found <laughs> out that you won this award. Oh, my gosh. Well, it was, it was uh, an assembly, our character ed assembly, which was the culmination of our month's mission. Um, so that's what it was framed as, and, and that's what I went into the assembly thinking that it was. And then it took a wonderful <laughs> left turn about halfway through oh, look at that. as we saw the board members, um, legislative leadership that were at the assembly, and it was just a magical day as it turned. Uh, you can even see on my face there that uh, I think I didn't even know what <laughs> right, happened right, right. until a, a couple seconds after my name was announced. So what a wonderful day it was. Wow, that is, that's amazing. So Tell us a little bit about what this award actually is. As Dan said, this is considered like the Oscar of teaching. Yeah, so I had heard of the award prior, but I didn't know exactly how exclusive it was and how yeah. long standing. I mean, this organization has been together since 1987, founded in 1987. And to hear it called the Oscar of teaching is just so humbling and, and unbelievable. I, I know nothing about the process of how I was selected, just that they had found me. and. It is really just the most humbling, incredible experience um, to be considered for that award. You know, you put in those early mornings and those late nights and everything you put into this, and to be rewarded for that is just a phenomenal feeling. Did somebody nominate you for the award? Um, not that I know of. Oh my not gosh. that I know. So how do you get put yeah. on the radar? Do you nominate your, you put yourself in? For uh, it? It's all very confidential, and from okay. my understanding, uh, you know, all I knew was I was walking into that assembly wow. that day uh, to our our character at assembly, and the next thing you knew, they were putting up a sign for twenty five thousand oh dollars and gosh. calling my name to the front of the room. Oh so. my god! And you win twenty five grand, and that's for whatever you want to use it for, right? It is. It wow. is. Wow. And what is yeah. it like, though? I mean, to get that kind of recognition, you've only been t you've been teaching for less than a decade. Right. Obviously, this is a labor of love for you. Oh, it absolutely is. It absolutely is. I mean, just when I got into this teaching thing, I was a naive 21 year old kid mm -hmm. thinking that I wanted to grow my impact as much as I possibly could. And to see the culmination of that work in such a short time and what I've been able to do is a, it was a pipe dream for me to even think that at the end of my career I could be considered for something like this. But to have it happen now. It, it's an absolute dream come true. I mean, it's how every educator starts. They, this is what mm -hmm. they want, right? What, what grade do you teach? I teach fifth grade. Fifth grade. So yep. what's the secret sauce then <laughs> to those fifth graders? For well, you? I think, first of all, having great relationships with your students. Kids don't learn from people they don't like. Mm -hmm. And just building those relationships up and just getting them to buy in, you know? And that is for the parents, the community, you know, reaching out to families and just investing in those kids with everything you have, you know. I call my students every year, former students on their birthday. Oh, their parents my gosh. look forward to a text or call from me. I have three to make on the way home today, actually, yeah. so that was already on my mind today. I didn't forget about you. So, oh, uh, wow. yeah, just investing in them and, you know, giving them everything you have and a supportive school district. I mean, I can't say enough about the tight-knit community in William Floyd mm -hmm. and how supportive that they've been to me. The administrative team there, Kevin Costers, Dr. C Stacey Scalise, uh, my building principal, Dominic Ciliata, Jackie Cabrera, Tony Komoroski, Gary Pratt, all these people that invested in me, took a chance on me, and just helped me get to the, the place that I am. And I could not possibly be afforded this opportunity without all of them. Wow. I love that you have such a deep connection yeah. with your students. Yeah. Is there something special about fifth grade, though, that you like teaching that grade level? It's kind of like opening and, and closing a book because it's the last year of elementary school. So we have mm. so many amazing things that fifth graders get to do. And, you know, I always think back on my senior year of high school as something that I loved because it was just such a magical time, a magical school year. And that's kind of like this in a way. You know, we have a graduation. We have all these great events at the end of the year to celebrate the end of elementary school. So 
it's a magical year. Um, it's funny I use that word magical because I'm also a magician. That's how I help motivate really? my students too. <laughs> That's yeah, amazing. yeah, uh, which which has certainly been a uh, great incentive for my for my kids and their families. Which it, it's been amazing. Yeah, 25k. So um, I hear your fiance has some thoughts on how to use the money. <laughs> oh yeah, um, she does. So there, there's a phone call where I tell her, and she um, we're getting married uh, July 16th of 2025. Yeah. And so if either of you are available, uh, <laughs> we could definitely put out a couple plates. Uh, well, Actually, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm an officiant. I can officiate. Oh, way. all right, it's all set. <laughs> if you need me to do it, yeah. Um, so yeah, so we 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 actually really financially responsible. My fiance is also a teacher. Um, Wonderful. She's a business teacher, so that kind of yeah. comes with the territory. Yeah. So as far as the wedding, I think we'll be okay, but the honeymoon might be getting a major upgrade. I oh think. yeah, that's wonderful. Good for you. Well, congratulations again. It's Thank what you a wonderful so much. Recognition. Thank Congrats. you. That's awesome. You know. Good stuff all around. You got to come back and do some magic. I yes. would love to. Right. I would love to. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Yeah, I'll show you some pictures of the wedding too. Oh, Real quickly, yeah. what do the kids call you? Do Ma they, go uh, on. Magic they Man, Magic Melandro. Yeah, oh and they're gosh. watching back in the classroom right now. Hi, everybody. Oh, yay! Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. What an awesome teacher you have. <laughs> awesome. Thanks again. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.